Welcome back. Today we're going to troubleshoot some issues and we're going to have fun. Our networks can be just like these crossroads where you see tons of people or tons of packets and frames flying all over the place and it can be very difficult to troubleshoot. But today we're going to take a step and troubleshoot a nice size network. Here you see a common network topology where you have your core infrastructure you have your firewall that points out to the internet you have your distribution layer and you have your access layers a common scenario in a lot of networks and what we're going to do today is we're going to troubleshoot now we've already configured this only we've only put the names in there we've ensured that core is your spanning tree root and we've configured ip address on the firewall and on the pcs that's all we've done and we're using a 10 dot on these uh, PCs. They're actually routers, but we've just configured them as PCs. So if we go in here and we do an IP interface brief, show IP interface brief, we'll see 10.1.1. And they're all on 10.1 network. So this will be show IP interface brief. 10.1.2 and this one is 10.1.3 correct so let's just start pinging from here let me increase the size here for you so you can see a little bit better so let's ping the 10.1.1 pc and let's see if we're successful we are and all these switches they're all configured just to allow all connectivity we don't have any vlan separation we don't have anything it's just basic the way you would plug it in is the way it comes up so as we can see we could ping that device but now let's say we need to figure out where is this device located where is pc1 on what port here obviously i have it laid out but generally if you have a huge access layer switch with a hundred 200 connections it's very difficult to find what port this is on but one way you would do this is just by finding the mac address of this device so if i go into pc1 i could do a show interface and i could do include um, show interface g00 include address that's a way to get it quick and here is your MAC address for this one for PC1. So PC3 pinged it. Now PC3 is connected to access switch three. So now we wanna find out what port is sending us over to over here. So you can see we have multiple connections. So each switch has redundant connections from the distribution layer. So the core comes down to distribution one, access one, access two, and access three. Same thing from the core, distribution two, to one, two, three. So it'll just flow, bam, 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 or the other way, bam, bam, bam. And that's how traffic will flow. But we need to understand that when we're troubleshooting. If you're looking at the diagram, it's easy to figure out, but if I remove the port information, it will not be that easy. So once again, we need to find out where it's uh, plugged in. So we do a show MAC address table. And what was the MAC of one? It's this 0C48DE50. 048DE50, it says that the reported interface is GI10. Okay, so let's find where GI10 is. Let's minimize this and move this over gi10 so if we're on access switch 3 gi10 is here so you could tell that the connectivity is going to flow from switch 3 over to distribution layer switch 1 we come over to this switch let's uh, zoom in a little bit so let's uh, same thing show mac address What was the MAC address again of PC1? It is C48DE50. 
C48, the E50. And we could just filter actually the, the MAC address on the command line. And then that way we have it available for us just to copy and paste. So show MAC address and we'll filter it out. We'll paste it. Oops. Let's question mark that there is another statement there and you have to put address again. Paste it and now. So it's telling us that it is located on G10. So it goes from the distribution layer to the access layer. And now we come over here and we look for that same address. Show MAC address. Show MAC address table, address, and we paste it in. And there we go. It'll tell you that it is off of GI33. Now, obviously, we have three computers. They all belong to the same VLAN. They're distributed throughout the building, multiple hops away. And that makes it very easy to troubleshoot. But when you do not know where a certain PC is located, this is the steps you would take. Figure out, run a ping to it, run a command to it. And if you already know the MAC address for it, for example, you may get a report that a certain PC is acting or misbehaving. It's running some type of um, reconnaissance and you get an alert somewhere and you don't have it set up where it tells you specifically what port it's coming from. Not everyone can afford a software that does that. But here's your basic steps to troubleshoot this. And the same thing if you want it to come all the way from the firewall you said let's see where is this guy located at come over to the firewall and once again this is just the router set up as a firewall no configuration all it has is it belongs to the same network 10.1.1 the 254 and if we go to ping we will see that it, the pings are successful and on the firewall you could do a show IP ARP, show ARP and you could see the MAC address right here 0C48 DE50 and it tells you the outbound interface once again this firewall only has one interface but firewalls have multiple interfaces it's very rare to find a firewall that has just one I just made this a little bit simpler for you but once again, we start tracking, where is this coming from? And we go to the core, same thing. We, we go in here, we do a show Mac address table. What was it again? 0C48 DE50. And this one is telling us, I'm coming down G00 to distribution one. And that's the way that you would find the MAC address. And it all depends on which switch you are. So if you're on access layer two, let's take a peek. Can we find this IP address? Can we find this device? Show MAC address. And we're going to paste it. And once again, I forgot to put the address command. And behold, it does not know anything about it. Why? Well, let's figure this out. Did the pink packets ever traverse this switch? No, if you remember, it went boom, boom, boom. Same thing. It, this one never touched access layer. But if we ask PC2 to ping that device, let's see what will happen now. Ping 10.1.1. Ping, pings are successful because it sends out a request kind of to map hey where are you where is this uh, IP address and the switch access layer 2 show Mac there we go same one show Mac and now it has the information because it found out where is this Mac address located very simple troubleshooting but a lot of times what we see in the field is that users forget these basic steps 
stick with the basics. It doesn't have to be complicated. The network may seem complicated. These uh, access switches can be ginormous switches with uh, chassis switches with multiple um, cards in them, each with 48 ports, and it could house many, many connections. This is the way, no matter how big the network is, you can have 20 of these access layer switches distributed throughout the building. The basic principles are the same. Find out or use whatever PC you're connected to. See if you can get to that device. If the device is up, if the device is causing problems and pings are not blocked on your network, you will be able to find out where this device is located. Very simple troubleshooting. It may seem hard, but in reality, it is not. It may look like a mess. It may look like this, but it is not that difficult. You can do it. Just follow these basic steps. And another basic step that's very easy to do is please click on this.